Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Fanny. Well, growing natural hair can be so hard, especially if you have fussy hair, the struggle become even harder. Well, simple things like washing your hair properly and taking good care of your scalp can massively change the way your hair grows. Well, let's learn how to wash our hair properly and how to take care of the scalp to promote hair growth. I know wash day can be very overwhelming sometimes and I know the struggles that come with it, especially if you have fussy hair, it becomes even harder. But let us make this process as short as possible and as quick and simple as possible as we can. So I don't know what works for you, but putting my hair in section really makes the process a little bit enjoyable and also it shortens the process for me. So you want to put your hair in section, you can either put them on in braids or you can put them in twist out the one that's work for you but mostly it also helps to pay more attention to the scalp where your hair grows and this is where you want to make sure the scalp is also very clean so after putting your hair in section you want to go ahead and run your hair in water as you saw my hair was a little bit uh, dirty because I had gel on it and it had flecked so I'm just running my hair in water first of all just to make sure I rinse off the gel I had on my hair then you want to take any shampoo of your choice I'm using cream of nature shampoo so you want to uh, lather it in your hands and instead of rubbing it in your scalp you want to massage it on the, on the scalp massaging your scalp help with the blood circulation hence promote hair growth and also instead of you rubbing it in your scalp it will damage your scalp so you want to just massage it on the scalp natural hair products can be very expensive i don't know if they are only expensive where i live please leave me comment on the comment section below and let me know if they are also expensive where you live so you want to put your hair in section as this will help you to avoid product waste just a little goes a long way and also the product will be evenly distributed all over your hair without missing any place on your hair i believe you're enjoying this video please subscribe to my channel give your girl a thumb up and also i really love to hear from you please leave me a comment on the comment section below and let me know how long your wash day normally takes if you have a scalp massager, you want to make use of it once in a while. If you do experience flex, dry and itchy scalps, give a scalp massager a go. It does condition the, the scalp and also it helps with the circulation of blood which promotes hair growth. So scalp massager also helps with the blood circulation in the head which promotes hair growth. And when you do, sometimes if we have stress, our scalps tend to be tight, hence hinder, uh, hinders blood flow. This scalp massager will actually help. It also helps to strengthen the root of the hair and also nourishes the hair, which promotes in hair growth. Do you experience tangle after wash day? I really do experience tangle sometimes if I don't wash my hair in braids or if I don't wash my hair in twist out. If you start putting your hair in twist out and also washing your hair in braids, you will actually see a great improvement in tangle. Tangling is one one of the major causes of hair breakage. Fussy hair, growing fussy hair is just so hard and you know the struggle with it. So if you find something that can really help you avoid hair, hair tangling, hair breakage, you want to avoid it. Uh, you want to avoid it as much as possible so if you input or if you try p washing your hair in braids or in twist out you will actually see a lot of a lot of improvement in your hair let me know in the comment section below how you really do wash your hair do you wash your hair like that or do you put it in sections or which one really works for you a healthy scalp leads to a healthy hair growth so it is important to pay attention on, on your scalp if you notice itching fleck, fleckness irritation pain or excessive hair loss this and this bothers you you might need to see a doctor because you might be having an underlying condition that needs more attention from the doctor to help you with 
On your wash day, you want to avoid washing your hair with hot water. Lukewarm water is more, much better because it helps to break down the oils in your hair. And also you want to avoid heavy rubbing, especially with your fingertips. You want to use the palm of your hands as they are very, very gentle to your hair. You want to avoid shampoos that contain sulfate in them. Sulfate do strip out our natural oil from our hair. Make our hair very dry you also want to include clarifying shampoo on your hair once in a month clarifying shampoo helps to remove product buildup and also reset hair Build up do cause breakage. Removing products build up from your hair do reduce breakage. And also clarifying shampoo helps hair to stay moisture and also promotes hair growth. When you feel your hair is very dirty, you might need to include clarifying shampoo once in a while. So how often do you need to wash your hair? This is a very personal question. It depends if you have time and also availability. But I wash my hair once a week and also I don't go two weeks without washing my hair. After uh, starting washing my hair once a week, I've seen a very big improvement on my 4C hair and the way my hair grows. Scalp, a clean scalp goes a long way. It's really nice and very healthy scalp that will make your hair grow well I'm just going to rinse off my hair then washing your hair is not over until you put a conditioner of your choice on so I'm just going to uh, use sheer moisture conditioner helps to add moisture that some of the shampoo we use as actually strip out of your hair so I'm going to use sheer moisture so I just want to show you how my hair is looking like and how my hair is feeling like. My hair was really moisturized and my hair, I felt my hair was so clean. As you can see the curls are popping. I really do love this shampoo. So I'm just going, st I'm still working in sections. So I'm just taking the conditioner then I'm going to apply it in my hair all over my hair. I'm still making sure that I finger detangle as finger detangling actually helps this product also to get to evenly distribute or to get all over my hair strands. I've done a very good video about how to detangle 4C hair so I'll just leave the link on the description box below so that you can actually go and see how to, uh, to detangle 4C hair properly. So I'm just putting the conditioner. I just want to make sure all my it is all over my hair. So I'm still working in section, going in, going in with my fingers, just to make sure the product is all over. This conditioner is hydrating conditioner. It's formulated with organic shea butter, repairing manuka honey, and also it has yogurt. So it is ultra hydrating conditioner with smooth and rough dry cuticles and also it fights split ends and leaves your hair feeling stronger and more resilient. Well, we are just about to find out. So I'm just going to put I'm just going to put shower cape for it is written you leave it for three minutes so I'm just going to leave the shower cape for three minutes this helps the product to penetrate more in your hair so I've just gone ahead and rinsed my hair and this is how my hair is looking like I don't know how your hair looks like after shampooing and conditioning please let me know in the comment section below I believe your hair might come out looking differently but I really love the way my hair is. Please, this is the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Till next time, bye bye.